think they're hugely significant because they raise the level of public awareness, uh, about women in business, about women in leadership, and indeed all the gender bias biases that are out there. For me, it's really important to highlight some of the role models that are out there and for women like me to be able to look and say, if she can do it, I can do it too. International Women's Day has a really deep and strong history. The first one was in 1909 when it was a National Women's Day and then it became international in 1975. And for me, it's really about what the voices create, its progress, its change in terms of legislation, gender pay, family-friendly initiatives, and that benefits not just women, but women and men and society society as a whole and that's why I think it's really important that we have days like this when we talk about these topics. And I think it's so good that in an international level all women decide to work in the same thing, work for the same uh, objectives, the same aim, so I think it's very very important because it's the only event that gather all the women from all over uh, for every country to work. Better equality for women is, I think the gender pay gap is a big thing. I think that that would be a great starting point to have. I want to just continue this year to be inspired by all the women around me and try to inspire others. Um, I'm going to try and be more conscious about unconscious bias in the workplace and stereotypes and just try and always battle that. I really believe that it's important that organisations get involved in pressing for diversity and inclusion. So this year, in terms of pressing for progress, AIB is going to be asking its 10,000 employees to sign an inclusion pledge, because it's fine to have diversity, but if our voices aren't heard, we don't get the benefit of diversity, so that's something we really want to focus on this year. To promote gender parity, we have to think about just two basic things. The first is human decency, in terms of making sure that all of us can bring the best of ourselves to our work and to our life every day. And there's also an economic aspect. We all have a talent that we can bring and a talent that benefits society. And if we can do both in a spirit of courage and respect, we can really make this world a better place. So I'm going to be cheeky and say I think that feels just a bit too passive for me, that word press, because I think it should be more about push for progress. You know, over the last 20 years, we have increased the representation of females at leader positions by 2% in 20 years. And in fact, some commentators say we're going backwards, so I think it's too little just to press. So I'm going to do all I can to push organisations, companies, females, and anyone involved in this space to do more around making sure this agenda actually starts to happen, rather than us just talking about it.